hot. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina will inaugurate Pyra Bridge tomorrow. New era of road communication opens in southern region of the country. The MPs habit to make success of government controversial, says Ubaidul Qadir. The MPs comments indicate that they will know well how incident of Kumila carried out, says Information and Broadcasting Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud. Shoykot and Rubiul, masterminds of inciting attacks in Pirganj, Rangpur, arrested. Iqbal placed on seven days remand in connection with Kumila incident. Senior Al-Qaeda leader killed in U.S. drone strike in Syria. And Australia beat South Africa by five wickets in the first Super 12 match of ICC T20 World Cup. Assalamu alaikum viewers, I'm Tanzila Manar Sultana welcoming you all to News at 10 on BTV, BTV World and BTV Chattogram Center. You have just heard the headlines, now moving on to news in details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina will inaugurate the long-awaited Pyra Bridge tomorrow. Roads and Highways Department started construction of the Pyra Bridge in 2016 over Pyra River on Potua Kaliborishal Highway. Now the bridge is ready for open to traffic. Once the 1.47 km long bridge over Pyra River is operational, people will be able to go to Potuakali District and the under-construction Pyra Seaport within an hour from Borishal. They will also be able to visit popular tourist destination Kuakata within two hours. As a result, this bridge will play special role to increase tourism in the area besides communication. Pyra Bridge in the Lebukali area will be like another Podda bridge for the people of the southern region. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina laid foundation stone of the bridge in 2013. Locals are eagerly waiting for the opening of the bridge. Local and foreign investment in Bangladesh is on the rise even during the global corona pandemic. The country has received more than 350 crore and 10 lakh dollars of foreign investment in the last fiscal, which is 8.3% higher than the year before. Bangladesh Investment Development Authority, BIDA, says political stability in the country, infrastructure development, electricity and implementation of the mega-projects by the government have contributed to the rise in foreign direct investment. The onslaught of coronavirus around the world in the 2019-2020 to fiscal brought the global economy to a standstill. The government of Bangladesh could not maintain direct contact with the foreign investors during that period, but virtually contact with them helped foreign investment to rise. There has been a 39.34% increment in the foreign direct investment in the last fiscal. Bangladesh has emerged as the secured place for foreign investment as the country has attained political stability, uninterrupted power supply, creation of 100 economic zones, removal of bureaucratic wrangling and government's implementation of mega-projects have played a role towards increased foreign direct investment. In the last fiscal investments in the rediment common sector came from China, Hong Kong and Korea. Foreign investment is also coming in sectors like power, banking services and telecommunication. Bangladesh Investment Development Authority is continuously striving to get more foreign investment, defying the corona pandemic, reforming its activities and bringing 95% of the total activities online. All these efforts help the growth of foreign investment, says stakeholders. 
A delegation of top-level businessmen from Naranganj and Hindu, Buddha, Christian, Oikko Purishad leaders under the leadership of Shami Musman MP called on Speaker Dr. Shirin Sharmin Chaudhary at the National Parliament Building in Dhaka today. During the meeting, they discussed recent attacks on the Hindu community at different places including Kumila and Pirganj in Rangpur citing the government stands by the affected Hindus in Pirganj. The speaker said Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is updating herself about the condition there round the clock. She said the government has extended all-out support for the suffering humanity there. Leaders of the delegation expressed willingness to cooperate with the affected of Pirganj and elsewhere in the country through the speaker. They handed over a cheque of 50 lakh taka to the speaker for the affected Hindu community members of Pirganj in Rangpur. Awami League General Secretary Ubaidul Qadir has said BNP's habit is to make government's achievements controversial. He said this at a briefing at his official residence today. Ubaidul Qadir says the statements of the BNP Secretary General and Kumila Iqbal hint that he might have more information about that arrested man. He says the Central Executive Committee of the Awami League will come up with decisions on Ghazipur City Mayor and other important organizational issues on November 19. Video footage chinnito hoa kumilar puja mondobe pobitro dharmogonto rakha igbalusne getare chokon sabai shosti prokash korche tokon bnp mohashoti prashno tulechen greptar hoa jubok eto din kothay chilo kara take shekhane nilo mirza fokruler kothay mone hocche ফকুল সাহেবের কাছে ইকবালের বিষয়ে অধিকতর তথ্য রয়েছে আমরা বিএনপির महासचिवকে প্রশ্ন রাখতে চাই আপনি তথ্য প্রমাণ দিয়ে বলুন এ কয়দিন কোথায় ছিল এই ব্যক্তি বিএনপি महासचिवের কাছে আমি জানতে চাই 2001 সালে ক্ষমতা এসে আপনাদেরকে ভোট না দেওয়া কথিত অপরাধে হিন্দু সম্প্রদায়ের উপর নির্মম নির্যাতন চালিয়েছিলেন কেন আগামী 19 নভেম্বর শুক্রবার বিকেল 4টা গণভবনে বাংলাদেশ সমরি কেন্দ্রীয় নির্বাহী কমিটির সভা অনুষ্ঠিত হবে সভায় রাজনৈতিক ও সাংগঠনিক আলোচনার পাশাপাশি দলীয় আদর্শ এবং শৃঙ্খলা বিরোধী বক্তব্যের জন্য গাজীপুর সিটি কর্পোরেশনের মেয়র ও সিটি আওয়ামী লীগের সাধারণ সম্পাদক জাহাঙ্গীর আলমকে প্রদত্ত শোকজ নোটিসের উপর আলোচনা ও সিদ্ধান্ত গ্রহণ করা হবে এছাড়া স্থানীয় সরকার নির্বাচন সহ অন্যান্য আরও কিছু সাংগঠনিক শৃঙ্খলা বিরোধী উত্থাপনীয় অভিযোগ নিয়েও আলোচনা হবে Information and Broadcasting Minister and Awami League Joint General Secretary Dr. Hassan Mahmoud has said the words of BNP leader Mirza Fakrul indicate that he has much knowledge on how the Kumila incident has happened. He said this responding to a query from journalists at his official residence at Mintu Road in the capital today. Bangladesh has been in the past few years and 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 the past few years কঠোর ব্যবস্থা গ্রহণ করেছে এবং দুষ্কৃতিকারীদের অনেককে গ্রেপ্তার করা হয়েছে একশোর বেশি মামলা হয়েছে কয়েকশো মানুষকে দুষ্কৃতিকারীকে গ্রেপ্তার করা হয়েছে এবং পীরগঞ্জে যেখানে ঘরবাড়ি ধ্বংস করা হয়েছিল জ্বালিয়ে দেওয়া হয়েছিল সেখানে ইতিমধ্যে ঘর নির্মাণ করে দেওয়া হয়েছে এবং অন্যান্য জায়গায়ও যে সমস্ত ঘটনা ঘটেছে সেখানেও সরকার দ্রুত ব্যবস্থা গ্রহণ করেছে যে সমস্ত মন্দির ক্ষতিগ্রস্ত হয়েছে সেই মন্দিরগুলো আবার মেরামত করা সহ অন্যান্য কার্যক্রম সরকার হাতে নিয়েছে এবং খুব অল্প সময়ের মধ্যে সরকারের পক্ষ থেকে ত্রাণ মন্ত্রালয়ের পক্ষ থেকে সেখানে ঘর করে দেওয়া হয়েছে সেই ঘরে তারা এখন রান্নাও করছে দেখুন রান্না করছে ঘরের মধ্যে তো ঘরে তারা আবার ফেরত গেছে প্রতিবাদ হতে পারে কিন্তু প্রতিবাদ যেন এমন না হয় যে জনগণের ভোগান্তি হয় কিংবা জনগণ বিরক্ত হয় কিংবা মৌলবাদীরা আবার সুযোগ করে নিতে পারে ধর্মান্ধ গোষ্ঠী যেন আবার সুযোগ করে নিতে পারে এই ধরনের কিছু হওয়া সঠিক সমীচীন নয় বলে আমি মনে করি 
এবং আমরা যেন আবেগ তাড়িত হয়ে কোনো কথা না বলি অবশ্যই আবেগ থাকবে কারণ এটির সাথে আবেগ জড়িত আছে কিন্তু সেটি বলার সময় যেন বাস্তবতা নির্ভরভাবে আমরা কথা বলি মির্জা ফকরেস আলমগীর সাহেবের প্রথম থেকে বক্তব্য মনে হচ্ছে যে ঠাকুর করে কেরে আমি কলা খাই না ওনার বক্তব্যটা ঠিক সেরকম ওনারাই রাজনৈতিক উদ্দেশ্যে এই ঘটনা ঘটিয়ে তারা আবার নানা ধরনের বিভ্রান্তি ছড়ানোর চেষ্টা করছে নিশ্চয়ই যারা এই ঘটনা ইন্ধন দিয়ে ইকবালকে করিয়েছে তারাই পাঠিয়েছে এবং মির্জা ফকর সাহেব আলমগীর সাহেবকে যদি জিজ্ঞাসাবাদ করা হয় তাহলে হয়তো উনি ভালো বলতে পারবেন যে ইকবালকে কারা ওখানে পাঠিয়েছে Agriculture Minister Dr. Mohammad Abdul Razak has said a separate cell will be opened at his ministry to encourage agriculture entrepreneurs as well as creating new entrepreneurs. He was addressing the inaugural ceremony of Agriculture Entrepreneurs Conference at Bangladesh Agricultural Research Council at Farmgate in Dhaka today. The minister said directives have been given to field level officers across the country to keep watch on agricultural loan disbursement for more than 28,000 taka about the communal violence sent during the Durga Puja Dr Abdul Razak said the incidents of communal attacks on Hindu community are very shameful for the nation Law Justice and Parliamentary Affairs Minister Anisul Haq has said trials of the cases filed over the recent attacks on Durga Puja mandops in Kumilla will be held in speedy trial tribunals the minister said this while replying to a question from a journalist after joining a reception ceremony of the newly appointed sub registrars at Bangabundhu International Conference Center in the capital today Anisul Haq said after getting the investigation reports from the police the cases will be sent to the speedy trial tribunals he said there is a section in speedy trial tribunals to accept cctv footages as evidence so there is no bar to accept the cctv footages captured during the incident as the evidence he added now international news The US military has killed senior al-Qaeda leader Abdul Hamid al-Matar in a drone strike in Syria. A US Central Command spokesman said, US Army Major John Rigsby said, the removal of this al-Qaeda senior leader will disrupt the terrorist organization's ability to further plot and carry out global attacks threatening US citizens, US partners and innocent civilians. There were no other known casualties from the strike, he said, adding it was conducted using an MQ-9 aircraft. The strike comes two days after a U.S. outpost in southern Syria was attacked. Pfizer and its partner BioNTech say their data supports authorization of their COVID-19 vaccine in kids 5 to 11. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration released the company's briefing document yesterday in a prelude to a meeting of expert advisors to the agency scheduled for Tuesday. In the main clinical trial conducted by the companies, the vaccine appeared to be more than 90% effective against symptomatic COVID-19. No new safety problems were identified in the company's studies. Meanwhile, COVID-19 global death toll crosses 49,56,000 and over 24 crore 39 lakh 9000 people have been infected globally besides more than 22 crore 10 lakh 4000 people have recovered from the virus so far Bangladesh reported 9 COVID-19 deaths and 278 new infections today. Directorate General of Health Services DGHS in its routine daily statement today said the death toll has risen to 27,814 from coronavirus and the tally of infections has risen to 15,67,417. ,67 the recovery count rose to 15,30,941 after another 294 patients recovered. 
The statement said 1.85 percent of 15,042 samples tested positive. DGH's statistics showed of the people infected from the beginning, 97.67 percent recovered and 1.77 percent died. The statement said of the nine deaths, one is between 11 to 20 years, one is between 41 to 50 years, one is between 51 to 60 years, four are between 61 to 70 years, and two are between 81 to 90 years. Six out of the nine people died were male, while three were female. DGHS informed that two people died in Dhaka Division, two died in Ratchahi Division, two died in Kulna Division, one died in Silet Division, one died in Rangpur Division, and one died in Maimansingh Division. News on Sports. News on ICC T20 World Cup. Australia beat South Africa by five wickets in the first match of ICC T20 World Cup Cricket Super 12 stage in Abu Dhabi. South Africa batted first and scored 118 runs for nine in the stipulated 20 overs. In reply, Australia reached their victory, tar victory target and scored 121 runs for five with two balls remaining. In the second match of the day, England are now batting against West Indies to chase the victory target of 56 runs. Earlier, West Indies batted first and were all out only on 55 runs in 14 overs, two balls. Meanwhile, Bangladesh will face Sri Lanka in their first match of Super 12 stage tomorrow. The match will start at 4 p.m. in Sharjah. In the second match of the day, India will take on their arch rival Pakistan at 8 p.m. in Dubai. To end the bulletin headlines once again. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina will inaugurate Pyra Bridge tomorrow. New era of road communication opens in southern region of the country. The MPs have it to make success of government controversial, says Ubadul Qadir. The NPS comments indicate that they know well how incident of Kumila carried out, says Information and Broadcasting Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmood. Shoykot and Rabiul, masterminds of inciting attacks in Pirgan Sharangpur, arrested. Iqbal placed on seven days remand in connection with Kumila incident. Senior Al-Qaeda leader killed in U.S. drone strike in Syria. And Australia beat South Africa by five wickets in the first Super 12 match of ICC T20 World Cup. And that's all from the newsroom for the moment. Thank you for staying with us. We request you all to follow health safety guidelines, wear masks and stay safe from Corona Kodasis.